This is NPRV News. <laughs> okay, I am sitting here with JJ and Rainey from Discharge. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Um, you're playing a rather small gig tonight. Yeah. But over the last year, since you released your recent album, yeah. you have been playing some massive festivals yeah. along with these smaller gigs. Yeah. And I'm wondering, how did the two compare for you? Oh, it kind of keeps you, keeps you grounded, really, I had a thought. Wouldn't you say that? I, I think I prefer the smaller ones, really. You know, it, it's cool playing, you know, the massive festivals. It's, uh, you know, there's always a bit of an atmosphere, but playing the smaller gigs is a lot more intimate, you know what I mean? You, you don't have a barrier you know, 20 feet between fucking you and the crowd. And, you know, you don't have a fucking bunch of bouncers standing there blocking the stage, you know what I mean? So it's, you know, smaller gigs like this, it's, you know, it's a bit of a free for all. You know, people just, you know, as they do as punk, you know, at a punk gig, fucking grabbing the mic, singing with you, jumping off the stage. I mean, that's, you know, that kind of coincides with punk gigs, doesn't it, you know? And the and, audience uh, enjoying what you're doing and really living it with Yeah, it's a nice, you know, it's like a little sweat box, ain't it? You know what I mean? It's just the atmosphere of it. So, yeah, I think, you know, the smaller gigs are a lot more fun, you know. Uh, I think a lot of my more memorable gigs were, you know, the smaller ones. But, you know, we love the festivals as well, you know, because a lot of times these festivals, we're playing to a different audience, you know what I mean? Like... Exactly. I've noticed that you've been playing a lot of metal festivals, and Discharge yeah, has yeah. had such a massive influence on metal. Yeah. But how did the metal audiences react to Discharge? Great. You know, it, it always goes down well. It's surprising, really, because it's like we play these metal festivals with just bands that are like nothing like us whatsoever. You know, exactly. it's like you just get a lot of this, like fucking slow head banging, mm -hmm. and it's like. Fuck, you know, and people are well into it, and it's like, wow, it's like, if that's what they like, you know, how are they going to react to discharge? Mm. And then when we go on, it just fucking explodes, so it's, it always goes down well, doesn't it? You know, at, at the yeah. festivals. Strangely enough, yeah. Well, it, I wouldn't say strangely enough, because discharge really did help to create the thrash metal scene, the death metal yeah, scene. Yeah, and, and sort of genres and stuff, yeah. I got, exactly. I got, yeah. Exactly. I mean, you guys were such a pioneering force back then. I mean, I remember in my early days in the early thrash metal and talking to the bands that now are the headliners of these yeah. festivals, and you guys, Discharge, were one of the first bands they would mention as being one of their influences or what you'd hear when you'd sit in their vans unlike this one <laughs> um <a> you know <laughs> yeah we're in the limo the discharge limo um and, and that was what you would hear is discharge and all these years later i mean we're talking 30 odd years later how do you feel because you were a part of that initial yeah, rush 40 years, actually. 40 years <laughs> exactly yeah I'm trying not to age us well, too much here. Fairly acceptable. <laughs> you know, we were children. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And how do you see that as, as being somebody who was a pioneer of a music that spawned so many genres now? Well, it's kind of the realization is what comes much later. You, you, you know, it's like in the time, you, you don't know. You don't know this is what's going on, you yeah. know? It's, uh, it just seems very much later, and the fact that so many bands name check, as you know. Yes, exactly. Which guarantees us in some ways a permanent audience, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When you've got, I've noticed on the Nuclear Blast site that they've got people like Sepultura and other bands yeah. mentioning how deeply Discharge influenced them in creating the music that they do now. And that's just such an amazing thing to see and it must be such a credit to you how do you, you know when you look back at your history and the the rocky middle period of yeah. discharge well whether that's wonky or not it's uh, you know it's uh, horses for courses to, uh, yeah you, definitely you know. yeah. Uh, well most of the band left at some point and there were some years in the late 80s early 90s I there was only two others left at one point me yeah. and the singer yeah yeah but we, we carried on. 
you carried on yeah. and I think you've revived yourself back to how you were in 1982 personally I think um, with Jeff's influence I think well, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. we needed it again you know because it's well it, it just fits in perfectly and you know yeah. it's very much the way we were and, yeah. you know and you're seeing that as well I mean this oh, definitely yeah, yeah. You this know. latest album end of days if yeah. I listen to it next to why or something else I just don't hear that much of a difference I hear a slight difference in the vocals I hear the modern sound but I still hear that raw discharge from 1982 83 84 yeah no you're very much right you know it's it's the way it is it's the way we are it's it's not something you kind of you know think about too much actually it's yeah. just the ranks are still there we still you know that, that whole album was recorded in analog you know what i mean it was recorded on the old reel tapes so you did it the old school way yeah, as well for me personally that's the you know a any band i was ever with i always preferred analog yeah. you know it's just got a certain sound it's got a certain rawness and for me that's the only thing that would work i don't like this shit they do nowadays the digital fucking pro tools yeah. programs they use you know it's just you know get it on the reel and it's it's got a specific sound to it mm -hmm. you know what i mean which is it's it's the discharge sound really you know what i mean I exactly think i think there's no other way yeah. so it had to be analog yeah. <laughs> and how do you feel as being the guy that so many people are looking at and saying you've helped the band itself to revive the old days do you feel that do you agree with that first um i mean i can see the comparison i mean you know i was i've always liked discharge before i was in the band i've always liked discharge but i was never like a fucking discharge maniac like some people are like db fanatics and yes. i was never into the db scene like you know what i mean i never followed it or anything i've always you know liked discharge and i've always thought to myself you know my my singing style i i, I did always think it would fit in with discharge like if i had to compare my my own vocals with a sound or a certain band I always thought it would have been Discharge and funnily enough it ended up in Discharge like and it's worked and uh but it's you know it's not a matter of trying to recreate the old days we're just no, no. doing it just what kind we of do. happened yeah, I might correct happen yeah. you know it's just that's we came up with new songs and that's what came out of it you know it's, I mean? it's the modern version of the original and i think you've yeah. you've not done it in a way that makes it sound cheesy like you forced it it was yeah. just a very natural progression yeah. back to the original roots yeah. but your experience with discharge actually began several years before in some way because you were with broken bones am i right yeah yeah but it was weird though because it was before I was even with Broken Bones. I mean, when I was in a band called Wasted Life, we supported Discharge, and uh, you know, Rainy had watched us and everything. And uh, you know, I heard from Rainy's sister that you know Rainy wanted to get in touch and he wanted to work on some new stuff. Mm. And uh, at the time, I just assumed it was like a project. I thought like you know Rainy wanted to do like a side project, but. I didn't really realize at the time he wanted, you know, wanted me to do Discharge. Mm. And so it was talked about, but then we never really acted on it, you know what I mean? And then finally, it just, it just fucking happened. You know, the news broke about, you know, rap being fired or whatever. And uh, next thing I got the phone call was, you know. Come and sing you, for us. Will you do it? Like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> It was always kind of earmarked, you know, to be the singer in my eyes anyway, yeah. you know. You, you heard in him what you wanted Discharge to be then. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't kind of mention it to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It wasn't directly, like I said, I didn't know he wanted me to sing for Discharge. You know, it's just like, oh, we want to work on some new stuff. You know, like I said, I thought it was just 
a side project or something, you know what I mean? And then uh, next thing that happened, you know, there's all this talk about Broken Bones getting back together and then Tez asking me if I'd do the Broken Bones thing, which I wasn't too sure about because it wasn't like, it wasn't my vocal style, you know what I mean? And uh, whereas Discharge was my vocal style, you know, it would fit into that band. So, I mean, you know, with Broken Bones being a lot of same members as Discharge just seemed, you know, the most logical thing to do is just stop Broken Bones yeah. and just do Discharge. And just do Discharge. So Broken Bones is on a hiatus at this point, would we say? Or? Yeah, it's done. You know, it's, it's done. Broken Bones. Reading Broken Bones has always kind of been like a, a side project, aren't they? You, yeah. you, you know, yeah. they're not fully, you know, immerse themselves in the scene where they became, you know, a complete working band. It was kind of a hobby for them too, you, you know. Yeah. And, uh, well, like that would have been a waste, you know. But. And I understand you write all the lyrics at this point, am I correct? So far, yeah, yeah, since since I've been in, yeah, yeah. And how do you go about doing that? Because you, you've got the similar subject matter that would always occur with Discharge. Is that something you consciously did, or...? Um, I just thought, like, with the punk scene nowadays, it's like every band, every fuck, you know, so-called anarchist band, it's like the only thing they're singing about is fucking animal rights. Uh, you know, it's like every anarchist band, it just seems like it's all geared towards animal rights, which is fine, you know what I mean? But there's a lot of other things that aren't being talked about that I thought should be talked about, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That people aren't paying much attention to, you know? You know, people, I guess we call it a lot of like conspiracy theory, which is a term I don't like because I think it's truth theory, you know what I mean? Because conspiracy theory is kind of, you know, that just means you're nuts, really. Yeah, yeah, you, you know get I mean? you get people tainted with the that, brush. People don't take that serious, you know what I mean? But it's like, you know, facts and, and truth and what's actually happening. And, you know, I just thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about that stuff that no one else is singing about, you know what I mean, so. Yeah, and, and the lyrics do hit home very strongly, especially now. I mean, you wrote them, I mean, the album was out a year ago, so you've yeah. written them over a year ago. Yeah. And now that we've got what I like to call the Cheeto in charge over in America, yeah. um, they're hitting even more strong now yeah. with what's happening there. Do you feel that they've stood the test of time even though it's just a it, year? It will do, you know what I mean? Because it's it's what's going on, it's what's happened. And like I said, all, all, the, all the lyrics on the album are just ref, a reflection. It's like a mirror reflection of what is happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, there's no nothing made up about it. It's what's going on. You know, so we're, just, we're just speaking about it and singing about it, you know what I mean? And so you're not making a statement per se, you're just talking about what you see and maybe well, what you don't like, but yeah. what you see. Yeah, it's what we see. It's not like our opinions and we're shoving it down people's throats that you should think this or you should do this and live this way or act this way or fucking... Well, it's just kind of relevant, isn't it? It's like here and now and what, you know, to yeah. what's going on around us, you know? To the world today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, you know, unfortunately a lot of people are just too dumbed down to fucking understand it. Yeah. You know, it's like people... I think a lot of people's brains just don't have the capacity, you know, the capacity to comprehend it. You know what I mean? That the world is um, in a weird place you at the moment. Think outside the box and look at the big picture. Yeah. So. Yeah. 